That means we're talking about me now. Yes! <laughs> To talk about my top four? Four? Four. Yeah. Yes. The four awaken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maddie, you're going to have to help me with of us saying people's uh, names of who's doing oh. what oh, and holding it. You can no, do I it. Can, I can help you with saying names. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, to start off with, it was one I'm always thankful for and I think it's one? great. You look like you're... you're... I'm struggling. Yeah, here, here, I'll, I'll hand them to you. All right, all right. Um, I'm gonna start out with my personal uh, favorite forever, not just this run, but all of her runs in general, even back from like the cartoon ages where she first came out in. Miss Harley of the Quins <laughs> by Miss Amanda Connor. And Jimmy Tomiotti. Yes. And uh, Chad, Chad Harding. Harding. John Tim, Alex Sinclair. It's, it's amazing. Um, I think it's. Some people have their opinions about this run, and as somebody that has read past runs and pretty much anything Harley Quinn related, um, I think it's amazing. I like the whole fact that she is not tied to the Joker. Very few times do they ever mention them, mention him pretty much. And it's just her being out there being a badass trying to figure out who she is as a person and trying to... You know, she's trying to be a better person. This is when she's becoming an anti-hero. Is it anti-hero? Yeah. 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 I think it's it's better than the, the her stuff in Suicide Squad. Oh yeah. I, I have yeah, my own I think personal views on Suicide Squad. Suicide yeah. Squad is uh, very um, yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Not progressive. Yeah. So. I I like this is specifically doing with a Power Girl, and I thought. The idea, well, if you don't know, Amanda Connor did do the art for Power yeah, Girl for she's a probably bit. the definitive Power Girl um, artist. And I love the way she does Power Girl as well. And I think them together, Harley Quinn and Power Girl, had such a nice chemistry. They even had um, Power Girl and Harley Quinn, they did a little separate mini little series. Mini series. I think it was about four Harley issues, Quinn five Harley? issues. Yeah, okay. which is amazing also. Um, but yeah, no. 100%. If you haven't read it, there's the first, second, and third volume that just came out, so check that out and all of the tie-ins. Yeah. I think like, Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti just get this character. <sighs> Amanda Connor is just like my spirit animal. I fucking love that woman. She also and does I, all the covers. I so. will see you at Long Beach Comic Con. I will be there. Any hoozy woozies. <laughs> okay. Moving on, we have Wayward right yeah. over yonder. With uh, by Jim Sub, he did the story, line art, Steve, uh, Steve Cummings, color art, Tamara bon, Bonvillain, or Bonvillain. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an image book, and it definitely is very, I would say, manga, very, very influenced by that. Um, it is based in Japan, and our main character is Irish, I believe. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up. Um, but... The art style is fantastic. There is a character that has to do with cats, and y'all know how much I love cats. It's true. Um, is, but this, is this him? Is that is that a cat guy? I've never read this. That's why I'm asking. No, no, no. Um, over in this one. Oh, there's, okay. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of cats. Yeah, the there's yeah. one that turns into a cat and has oh, okay. a bunch of cats, and then yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, it's a girl figuring out that she has these powers and didn't know she had them. And then comes to every chapter is her meeting somebody else that has powers as well. And towards the end you find out that her mom had those similar powers. And I won't ruin it, but that is a bit of a spoiler. Mm -hmm. But it's just me, everyone's powers and the relationships they build and how she comes to Japan. And all of a sudden she has these great friends. Um, I am still in the middle of the second issue, but it's still amazing. Um, the second volume, actually. Uh, it's definitely something you want to check out. It's, yeah, no, yeah. If you like manga and action-y, well, if you like superheroes, you should check it out. Just saying. It's something that strays away from the norm. 
And then I do have, if Maddie can grab Gotham Academy, Gotham Academy is actually in my top four as well. Well, I'm the only one who did it, <laughs> just like when we did the podcast, yes. I didn't have Gotham Academy. And you guys already know who this is by. <laughs> Like yes. there's Clunin, there's a uh, Brendan and Fletcher. Carl Kershaw. Yep. I'm gonna read it again, so because I only read it once for that episode, but I'm gonna. Uh, oh, it might uh, just not be your thing. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. But I, I do like to reread things. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I love the art style. I think oh, they're shit, doing so amazing <laughs> at the art style. It's just fucking ridiculous. I like how it's. I grew up loving Scooby Doo, so anything that has to do with mysteries. I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm fucking in. And that's what it is. It's a giant mystery book. Kind of similar to uh, the other Batgirl, the Batgirl run right now. It's, it's the same writer. Yeah. yeah. You can tell what Brendan Fletcher's into. And in I just <laughs> thought it was <laughs> such a ballsy move from DC to actually allow these new characters to be introducing. Because technically, it is a Batman story. In the end, this is supposed to be about Batman. But you have all of these main characters, and you're seeing this other side of what people think about Batman, which is awesome. Um, and there's Max in here, which Max, Max is, is a great character so. that Maddie and I personally love. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, if you haven't read it, and you've obviously heard Maddie talking about it already, it definitely is something to pick up and read. And I believe... The second um, volume Same should, should we'll be coming out soon. Later, yeah. yeah, so there's plenty of you to read. And to end it all, I the mother of that. all mothers, the <laughs> Chewbacca. Yes! As you can tell, there is particularly one particular character from Star Wars that I absolutely love. <laughs> um, you know, this run is... <laughs> Amazing. Um, there's. I'm really weird like about one? sharing my comic books, and it is definitely that run that I've been going up to people and going, "Take these, read them. You will love them." She um, has. It's by Phil Noto and Jerry, and Jerry Duran. Yes, um, Noto is doing such an amazing job with the art. The art. After seeing the way he does Chewbacca, it's really hard to see him in any other comic book or illustrated anywhere else. It's true. Because I'm just like, you know, it just, so it hard. doesn't look as amazing as I've seen him before. There is, yeah, the storyline, the way they introduce certain characters, um, the introduction of Chewbacca himself into the run is amazing. <laughs> That's it's, my favorite part. <laughs> it's, it's four pages in, and all you see is Chewbacca laying on a flower bed We're gonna put the picture with his right arm yes. up. Seductively. Seductively. Like Taking a nap, movie. and it's gorgeous. And then you turn the next page, and you see the actual full picture of it, and it's him laying there, but there's a burned, crash little starship. Yeah, yeah okay. that... He crashed. He crashed. You know, because yeah. he's Chewbacca. He gives no fucks. I'll take a nap. I'll deal with this later. Um, but no, definitely. We did talk about this in our Star Wars episode yeah. um, 10. So check that out we'll on our podcast. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure either. It is, it is <laughs> no, 10 because we yeah. just did 11 and 12. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, if you haven't read it, it's only four issues long so far that Worth I know of. The read. Um, yeah. It's definitely one of those things that... If you don't love Chewbacca, you'll fucking love him now. And if you also don't love Chewbacca, we have a problem. True. It's true. <laughs> but yeah, that will conclude our amazing end of the year extravaganza of our comic book choices. Yes. So, it's been a... It's been a hell of a year. Yes. Let's just say that. Yeah. We... Mark and I just met this year, and that's probably like one of like the top things of this year. Oh yeah, Mark and I celebrated our four-year anniversary. Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah, we. we <laughs> the <cutest> couple <laughs> ever ship them so hard. I ship you two harder than I ship Matt and me. Just saying. <laughs> Aww. I, I I ship Christine and you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's true. A lot of people yeah. do. Oh, talking about Christine, we're 
we're very thankful for the ladybugs this oh, yes. um, this year. The ladybugs have been Merry Christmas. Yes, yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Happy ladybugs. New Year's. It's been very generous to us. Yes, yes. Um, as well as uh, the comic bug, yes. which is our comic book store plug, that plug, we go plug. to. Yeah. Ride or die. There's yes. a reason that I don't have to buy my issues of Thor yeah. online anymore. Yeah, so that's why I can like I can go there and it's like everybody. It's like a bar. It's like what I <laughs> wish I had in a bar. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just <laughs> like Cheers, but comic book yes. version. Because yeah. we go to the sketchy bug meetings. We go to the I go to the ladybug meetings. Yeah. Um, and then we're we that's go, where we, we go. Yeah, that's where we buy our comic yeah. books. So we walk in and. Everyone's like, hey, yeah. dudes, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. the best shop around. You guys should definitely check it out. It's pretty yes. cool because, like, industry pros go there. Yeah. And it's like... Scott Koblish, the yeah. Roblich. We're just, like, there, like, hey, Scott. Like, it's weird. Like, yeah. I only imagine me saying, hey, Scott, if I ever met, like, Cyclops in real life. <laughs> Somebody talk about Rafael Navarro. I'll be back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's uh, awesome. Uh, he draws guns a-blazing. I'm going to get it right now. Yep. Yeah, I do love the book. We should put it in our top because it's amazing. It was meant amazing. to be in our top. It, it is. I think so. Yeah. Um, it's the, the honorable mention. Yeah, the unofficial fifth book in all of our tops. Um, yeah, like I think I just I think the way the third one just yeah. came out. Yeah. yeah. Feel free to come in. Um, I, I think because we are we've already like we, we watched our interview where we talked yes. to Mike and, Mike and Raphael yeah. Navarro. It's a really beautiful book. Mm -hmm. Um. You can see, I mean, I feel weird talking about Raphael's art, like, because I know him. It feels and weird just doing that. It's edited by uh, Richard, oh, excuse me, Richard, Richard Starkings. Starkings, which is amazing. Um, Just, like, the texture of the book alone is amazing, because it's, I remember when they did the test, like, oh, yeah, yeah. like, feel this book. And, and I'll now feel this, feel this book. Now, now <coughs> which one's which, like, um, just alone you could, like, you could feel it in a pile and you'd know it was guns mm -hmm. blazing. Also, um, the art style is amazing. Raphael is wonderful. The the writing in it was great. Yeah. And the color schemes, holy fucking shit. You yeah. were on like it's some like kind of psychedelic drug. It's a psychedelic sci-fi western. Yeah, it's the amazing. Only way I can describe it. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's, it's very like, his art style reminds me of Jack Kirby or like Bruce Timm. Like, yeah. Kind of like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's um, amazing. It's life. It's love. Um, yeah, like it's... Check it out. But mm -hmm. talking about Rafael Navarro, um, we made coasters for everybody this Christmas. It's true. Um, and he saw Matt working on one of them and mm -hmm. decided he'd try it. So he drew Maddie and I, adorable as fuck. <laughs> yeah. We're super kawaii. Yeah. Matt looks like I, a dude. Yeah. yeah. I love no, it. I love it. That's like whenever I need to take a picture, I'm just going to be like, yeah, that's my picture. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, that was weird. Mm -hmm. Did is there anything in particular you guys got for Christmas that you guys? I got a bunch of Darth Vader stuff because everybody thinks I'm Kylo Ren. <laughs> I, I, I've consistently had Darth Vader presents since I was a baby. So, <laughs> I think you are Shame. Kylo Ren. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge, people know that I'm just a huge Darth Vader fanboy. <laughs> How about you, Maddie? Anything in particular? Um, Nelly Bugs got me complete flight of the Concords, and uh, you know I love them. So. Your mom got you a snazzy sweater. Oh yeah, I got a really nice sweater that I, I wear all the time. I'm not wearing it right now because it doesn't go with the shirt, yeah. but I love it. You'd think he'd be wearing it considering how cold it is in California. It was 39 degrees in the morning. No. Someone somewhere who watches out of state is like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in Antarctica like, fuck you, yeah. Rambush. <laughs> oh, it's like zero. <laughs> and, and for me, um, we have Chewbacca. Thank yes. you. Yeah. I got her that. And uh, Maddie got me these sweet like adapters for my phone. Lenses. They're little lenses, so I can take awesome pictures. Oh, for the for the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, so I it's it's pretty. It's a wide in a wide lens, a wide angle lens. There's a circle, a fisheye one, and then there's the macro one. We should we should take some insta. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm super excited. Also, um. Matt's mom got me this amazing Harley Quinn shirt. It's a, what is it? A Ouija board inspired Harley Quinn shirt. It's amazing. It's like my favorite thing. I have a lot of favorites. Also, my parents bought me a Nintendo DS, which brings me to, if you guys uh, go to conventions and kind of seem to street pass me, Y'all can get in touch with me. Just saying. What is your What is your name? What is your handle so far? Or do you not have it's, one yet? It's Nelly Bug. Oh, okay. I think it might be Nelly Bug underscore. I mean Nelly underscore Bug or just Nelly Bug. So 
You'll find us, but all for conventions, I think I'll switch it to Graphic Ramblers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a. We'll all just share that account. If yeah, Graphic Ramblers just be like now. mother bitches. What up? Yeah. Yeah, but this concludes our. This concludes the year. Yep. The year. I mean, it's only half a year for us, but like, yeah. Still. 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 So I guess to be continued. Yes. Till next we'll year. We'll see you in 2016, folks. Two K16. All new Graphic Ramblers. Every year it's going to be all ramblers. new. Ramblers, yeah. All year. <laughs> all new. All new. All different. <laughs> graphic ramblers. I'm going to be played by a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to be Matt and I'm going to be Mark. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be... I'll be played by Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be a little Nelly, Nelly doll. Okay. Yes. Be a clone of Nelly with sweet claws. Mm -hmm. Guys. So we'll see you sweet. next year, guys. Bye. 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 Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Matt. Matt. No. No. Woo! Woo! <laughs>